Hello and welcome everybody, my name is Rockcan, and today we are playing some Slime Rancher. Now I've wanted to do a casual let's play for a while, so let's just hop right in. Uh, I've been speedrunning this game for over a year now, and I haven't played it casually since. I thought that YouTube would be a great spot to do this on. For the overall game, I'm not going to be taking it super fast. I technically do know the speed strats. I'll be using some of them, but not all of them. If a strategy is something like skipping a gate, I won't be using it, because that's clearly not the intended progression for the game. I will be using other little tricks, like I know how to get honey and boom slimes really fast, so I'm going to do that. But I'll take my time and do it the proper way by feeding the pink gordo here, then we can get through the slime gate. When I played this game casually, I never really went into slime science. That was something I totally skipped. My main focus for this let's play will be taking my time with the progression of the game and really exploring ornaments, which we now have two of, really exploring ornaments and slime science and decorations. By the end, I want to be able to have a base that is fully automated. So I'll be using drones and warp depots and everything that I need to make a self-sustaining base with every slime on it so that we can have access to any slime science we want, any gadgets or curios. I almost went for the skip there, but I'm not doing it. First things first, let's get into the moss blanket and we'll get access to some money. Looks like we've got another crate. A drone buddy. Aww. You want to live up here? You can guard the moss blanket for me, all right? I think it's going to be very interesting to play this game casually, because in reality, I'll never be able to. I know too much. My, like, my instinct is to go with speed. As you can see now, I'm still going for honey boom slimes, even though I should technically be starting with pink and then rock and tabby. Thinking back to when I originally played this game in 2016, that's how it went. I ranched pink slimes before then getting rocks, before then getting tabbies. So I'll definitely be approaching this from someone that knows what they're doing, but I'll be trying to approach it from a skilled player rather than a speedrunner. Hopefully that makes sense. Eight slimes should be a good chunk of Largos, and we head on home. Bam. Let's get these buddies down. And get them eating a little. This is technically speedrunning. I don't think you would do this casually. Just free ranch your slimes like this. But oh well. I should be able to sell these to get our first corral. Yes. Alright. Now it's officially a casual playthrough because I have a corral without a roof, although I can purchase high walls. Not quite air net, though. They live there, throw the ornaments up. I wasn't going to do this. I'm, that's, I've made that mistake, but from now on, I think that's a speedrunning strat. Sleeping until you get food to get money quickly. So, I did it once, that was my mistake, I wasn't going to. From now on, no more. I will be using my days to explore instead of doing that. Money, thank you. Let's get these buddies a roof. So yeah, like I said, I'm interested in exploring the late game, because that's something I've never really done apart from inside of speedruns, where like, I explore the late game by rushing through it as fast as possible. So we're just gonna take our time. Explore the beauties of the far, far range. I guess an interesting thing is this will be my first playthrough on high settings, because whenever I stream it, I'm on the bare minimum settings. And way back before I started streaming when I played it casually, I did not have a good computer. 
So this will be my first good time experiencing the joys of slimes in nature. Look at this, buddy. For those that didn't know, this is the slime that's on the rock can. Because it looks like bubblegum. Ooh. Thank you. I also think that this playthrough will be nice as a break because on stream currently, I'm getting ready to run 100%. That's a very long speed run. I believe I'm the first runner who's going to be doing it. So I'm working on a route. That's a very big task. And so being able to still play Slime Rancher, but have a nice change of pace here on YouTube will be very nice. We've got all our pink plorts we can grab, so let's go sell these. I guess we can start working on some more Gordos. There is the Phosphor Gordo. And if I can gather some more fruit, we can go feed it. Although you guys would also like this fruit. Hmm. It's been a while since I've actually sold pink plorts. Live in there. Another thing I want to mention before this series gets kicked off is that I may introduce mods at some point. If I finish everything that you can do within the game, but I'm still ready to make some videos in this series, mods may be added in, add some extra episodes that way. I've learned a lot from the Muck series in terms of how to edit videos of this style, because that's something I hadn't done before then. I was waiting to start this series until I got that sort of foundational knowledge. Since I've learned that through Muck, now we're ready to edit some Slime Rancher. I did not know that Heartbeats appeared there. That is interesting. And some stony chicks, or stony hens. I can feed these to the tabby over here. Three, four, five. Another thing that I do plan on doing with this series is my first couple of YouTube live streams. I was thinking for stuff like the ranch expansions, because they are fairly repetitive, and I don't really think I can make a good video out of them. It would be an interesting chance to play around with YouTube live streaming for the first time. More fruit. We'll give this fruit to these buddies. And we've got lots of carrots now. I don't know what I'm saving them up for. Eventually, someone will want them. Got some money. What can we get? Tank. Jetpack will be nice to get. And power core for now. You've escaped your corral without a ceiling. And let's do a range exchange. One rooster, five hens, one honey plort. Give me that. No rooster, no hens. Not that they can spawn there anyways, but we're in narration mode. Hopefully by the end of this series, I will be much more comfortable on YouTube talking to myself. I feel like I'm alright with it on Twitch. Most times there's someone to bounce an idea or give a topic starter. So it's definitely interesting talking on YouTube. And that's a lot of roosters. The fact that we've picked up one hen and three roosters is odd. I don't know the exact spawn rates, but it is significantly less. I guess we can head over to the moss blanket and check for hens there. Another party crate. Hey, I missed you the first time. Uh, you can live there, I guess. Speaking of party crates, I don't know if I'll only film this on the weekends, but currently I'm filming it on Sunday. I may make a point of always filming on the weekend. That way we can build up our ornaments and have a good time that way. There's our chicken, chicken, another rooster. Any more chickens? There's our rooster. Chicken. Head on home. You get five and one. I didn't even check what this was giving. Did I need those? Not really. Am I going to make some rock pink slimes? Yup. You get back in there and get all the heartbeats you desire. 
One nice thing about Slime Rancher versus Muck is I'll have much more control over the episode lengths. With Muck, I couldn't really cut a session in half, but here I'll be able to tweak it to exactly how long I want, and I should be able to keep a more consistent episode length. Right now, I'm thinking of aiming for around 10 and 15 minutes. Let's grab these and go feed the phosphor. You're not done yet, but you're getting there. I will be mixing slimes into Largos in such a way that I can avoid having any that want meat, because that's always a smart idea. So goodbye to those roosters. Let's go grab the rest of the fruit. There should be some more on this island. Finish Phosphor, get into the Indigo Quarry, and I feel like that's a good progression for a first day. I don't know. Oh, we're out of energy. Yeah, I don't know if I should be watching the time. There was a single cube. Very good. Does 20 minutes of footage make 10 minutes of video? I'll have to figure that out because I could do some bite sized videos, make them like eight minutes long. I guess like everything else on this channel, it's all about experimentation. So for the first few episodes, we may be all over the place until I figure out what works best. Let me know your guys' thoughts on should I purposefully take it slow? Like I'd say right now, I'm not speed running, but it's not like I'm purposefully going slower than I could. Should I be limiting how fast I go? Should I just speed run through the main game so that I can get to the end game right away? Another buzz buddy. All right, you come with me. Let's get up here again. That's not a speedrunning trick. Let's bring our drone back. Actually, since the other drone's guarding the moss blanket, let's set up this drone right by the indigo quarry. Live there. Door open. I'd say this is a pretty successful first day. We've established the series, we've gained access to about half the map, so we can have some more fun exploring around later. One thing that will be fun is exploring all the treasure pods, because that's something I've never done before, and it's also a task that I need to do before the 100%, so if I can take a go at it casually and try and find everything, it'll be nice before I have to route it into a speedrun. But I think that's where we're gonna end this off. I'll come over here to the love ornaments, get a nice shot of our ranch, and thank you very much for tuning in today. This was our first episode of Slime Rancher. I hope you enjoy this series. I'm looking forward to it, so let me know your thoughts on what I should do, what to focus on in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed, get subscribed for more Slime Rancher, and I'll see you in another video. Thanks for watching.